Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Eve's Vids. This is going to be the first video with my new laptop. Hopefully from the last videos, this is going to be sounding a bit better. Now today I'm going to be showing is the re uh, recreation of the Grand uh, Pyramids of Giza. Uh, this, uh, this one is going to be the Pyramid of Khufu. It's a one-to-one -one scale. Now this is going to show you the interior of it, just uh, and this is going to take probably I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. But you know, make it try to make it interesting at the same time. Just see the the scale of it. Well, just to show you, just if I can go up there and looking up, we're going up. Almost at the top, and here we go. We're on the top, and you can, you know, on scale, this is pretty high up. So when they were building it, and no, it was not constructed by aliens, and no, it was not constructed by slaves. This was actually built by. Uh, the objections themselves that was uh, doing something uh, remarkable for their pharaohs. So these were hardworking, they were paid, well fed, and this was in honor for them to build this. It took 20 years and approximately they said 20,000 people. Now just we're going down the ascending tunnel or descending uh, passageway whatever you call it now we're going this is goes towards the uh, subterranean chamber this is still the chamber they're not 100% sure what it was for it seemed to be incomplete. Still a mystery yet. There's a tunnel over here that goes to nowhere. Or they're not telling us. There is a uh, shaft. Like a water shaft. We still don't know. And there's this platform that nobody knows. That we know of. Okay. This is uh, what they call the escape... Uh, uh, shaft it, and I'll show you where it goes out it goes right to the grand gallery okay we're gonna go up and we're uh, going to meet the intersection where it goes to the ascending shaft right here and this is going to go towards the grand gallery the Queen's chamber and the King's chamber all right here's the grand gallery there's the escape shaft I was talking about that goes all the way up here. Up, if you go up, we go. Well, gonna go up there after in a second. But towards here is the queen's chambers. So there's where uh, we don't know. I think that's where they said that there might be a. No a gasket or kind of thing hinders the, the holes on each side that go uh, the uh, little shaft that goes towards stars I think so this is what it looks like inside here and now we're going to go to the grand gallery and we're going to go towards the king's chamber Okay, this ladder is going to go to the, where the roof top, uh, like the uh, the roof of the uh, king's chambers, the the five layers. Over here is the king's chamber. You got this sh again, the small hole shafts kind of thing, and there is the the tomb casket. What kind of thing? And this is where the interesting part is, right here. There's a theory 
Right now, they're not 100% sure there is a passageway on this side. They said they didn't find anything, but we don't know if they did or not. Because in this area, it seems like there's been concrete. They said they've been they dug and there's nothing there, but you'll see in videos that there's a possibility there's something here that the treasures might be on the other side of this wall. I just put that cut out for now because we don't know how it looks like. But there is an anomaly that's a big void in this area. Alright, just to let, uh, going to go back outside and I'm going to show you it's from a theory from a French, uh, I think, uh, what do you call them, uh, engineers. And he figured out the possibility how these, the pyramid was constructed. His name is Jean-Pierre Houdin. You can look up in his uh, on his video uh, video and it uh, basically tells you the, how he figured out how they built the uh, the pyramid. This is it's very interesting and I think his theory is bang on. So just to show you, I will go to on the earth side of the pyramid and show you what his theory is, and it actually his theory makes a lot of sense. So, all we learned uh, before they, they what they did was from the or taught that you know they probably it was a spiral uh, uh, ramps going all the way around the top, every side just going swirl uh, right around right to the top. But Jean Pierre Houdin says they didn't build like that; they built from inside out so what they were doing is they were construct get the pieces in on this side and then they'll place the rocks the interior rocks and go layer by layer by the internal ramp system and he proved there there is such a thing as an inter, uh, internal ramp system from a nerve pyramid that was in, uh, somewhere else in the desert who there is an internal ramp system. But that was his theory before he even saw that. So now it would go all the way here to the, uh, this corner. Then at this spot, they would pick up the rock, rotate it, uh, rotate it. Then it would go up the ramp here. And just to show you, I'm going to. Go uh, game mode. In the spectator. Now I can just go on your side of the wall. Boom. So we started down there. And it goes, and like you see, there's the grand and the grand gallery. Oh, here is the grotto that is a natural formation inside the rock that they found when they were doing the escape. But, but there's a just to show you, goes all the way. All the way to the top. And how and and this is what he uh, proposed that you should. Uh, I would suggest really that you watch this, this video. It's very interesting. You know what? And it's more believable than. They saying aliens came and built the and built the pyramid for a landing platform or or the slaves.
all right so this is my first video on with this uh, system hopefully you enjoyed and I will talk uh, will meet you in another time thank you for watching see you later